Um, okay, so it's already recorded, yeah. So, uh, welcome everyone. Um, to everyone here in the room as well as our um, apa, future um, or current interns who are watching this video. So, this session is going to be our um, apa, data scientist intern, uh, Maxwell. Um, this is his um, intern graduation presentation. So, he will share more about um, apa, his projects, his um, development, his progression uh, so far during his um, three months of internship here in Nista. So, okay, without further ado, uh, let's get started, yeah. Uh, silakan, Max, uh, the time and place is yours. Okay, okay. thank you, Kak Celine. So, hello, everyone. Welcome to my intern graduation presentation. I am Maxwell Thompson, and I am the data scientist intern in Bukit Vista from the BA chapter. So today I will talk about uh, what I have done in Bukit Vista and things that I've learned during my internship. So this will be a simple and a short presentation. Let's get started with the first one, what I've done. Okay, so uh, in Bukit Vista, I mainly focus on the readers optimization where uh, Redux itself is a visualization and dashboarding platform used by Bukit Vista to gather insights and discover meaningful information. So uh, in DV, we have the dashboard for BI chapter, for HR chapter, for HR, community, uh, marketing, and then product development, and also for the finance. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to uh, optimize the current uh, visualization and dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is doing the categorizing visualization. So, so this can be done by creating a menu and submenu section to help the user navigate and search the visualization easily. And also make sure every visualization in each chapter is linked to each other. So for the example in here, we have the guest details uh, dashboard where previously there is no uh, submenu and menu section. And what I'm trying to do is we add the text box on the top of the dashboard where there is a menu and submenu section. And we make sure that this current des uh, dashboard is connected or linked to every other dashboard in its chapter. So we make sure that this dashboard is linked to direct inquiry, to region data, List, uh, listing list and so on. And second one is improving visualization. So how could we improve uh, the existing visualization? We can do this by adding a search filter, such as the date and area filter, or adding a clear title, label, or showing the data percentage or units of currency. So in this picture in here, here is the bar chart for cancellation, where the blue color bar show the cancellation value for each month. So we can see here is the cancellation value for July, for August, September, and October. And how could we improve this? First, we add the visualization title in here. So we notice that uh, previously there is no visualization title. This is the query title query title. And what uh, I'm doing is I add the visualization title over here. And also we noticed that previously there is a legend. This is the legend of the visualization. But the legend over here, it is not really effective and it takes a lot of space. And rather than put it as the legend, we could just add it as a Y label in here. So we remove the legend in here and we put it as the Y label and it will save a lot of space. And also the last thing we do is we show the value. We show the cancellation value on each of the bar. So it will give more visibility and insights to the user who use this visualization. And the third thing is fixing the query. So in the redes, uh, every dashboard or every visualization, either it is the bar chart, pie chart, or table, has its own query. So query is something like 
uh, the code for the code uh, in SQL language that is used to produce visualization. And if we find something wrong with our visualization, the first thing we check is the query itself. So in the picture in here, we have the data, the table for the occupancy rate for its property. But notice in here, we have one property with occupancy rate is greater than 100%. And we know that the occupancy rate should be smaller than 100%. So we know that there is something wrong with our table in here. And what we are going to do is we check the coding, the query, and we found out that there is something uh, wrong with our formula in here, occupancy rate. So the previous occupancy rate is calculated as the days occupied times the number of unit bedroom divided by total days times the property bedroom. And we fix this problem by changing the denominator in here. We change the property bedroom into the total unit bedroom. And as we can see, in here, there is no occupancy rate greater than 100% again. But uh, actually, uh, the formula in here, it is also correct. But since our property bedroom information in our database has not accurate yet, so it is better for us to calculate the property bedroom based on the total unit bedroom for each property. So this will give a more accurate result compared to this one. And the next one is uh, adding visualization. So uh, previously in here, we can see this is the listing list. So in Redes previously, there is some dashboard that consists of only a single table like this. So here is the whole dashboard, but inside the dashboard, there is only a single table. And what we are trying to do is we trying to add a new visualization from the existing table. As you can see in here, there is uh, a bar chart for the number of listing by property. Here is the pie chart for the listing count by profile name. And here is the information for the total listing and the number of property with listing. And by doing this, we can like uh, deliver more insights to the user. And the last one in here is creating a new dashboard. So during my internship, I have created a dashboard for SPO, single property optimization, to help optimize the business analyst workflow. And also I have created uh, several dashboard for business development chapter with Willis, such as the comparison and property dashboard, occupancy dashboard, inquiry and revenue dashboard. And this one is still being developed by Willis. And let's move to the second part, what I have learned in Bukit Vista. So the first one is of course the programming skill, the SQL. So I took my first SQL online course on Coursera. It is on July, 2021. And on August, 2021, one month after that, I joined Bukit Vista and I got the chance to apply my SQL knowledge and skill that I have learned before in the real world problems. And also I become more familiar with the SQL function and SQL query, such as the group by function, the left join function. And I've learned how to create a temporary table to uh, produce a useful visualization. So it took me only like uh, one month and I got the chance to apply my skill thanks to Bukit Vista. And the second one from the soft skill side, the first thing is I learned about communication skill, where it required me to understand and identify uh, client needs from the business side. Because sometimes as a data scientist, we sometimes put too much focus on the programming or technical side, and we may fail to fulfill what's the client needs. And during my internship in Bukit Vista, I try to uh, questioning myself or ask myself more questions. Something like, uh, do we need uh, something like, uh, does our client really understand our visualization? Or something like, 
that's our visual that's the visualization that we create provide an insightful an insightful insight for the client and something like that and by asking more questions to ourselves we can improve our communication skill and of, of course our skill to uh, understand what's the client needs and the second one is collaboration collaboration and teamwork so during my internship i've worked with willis for the pd dashboard we have talked about pareto principle and how could we deliver what the client wants and i have worked also with kanadiva for the uh, the readers optimization and also the index page so by having a collaboration we can share our idea and also our opinion to solve problems and the last one is the time management and prioritization uh, because currently i am on my fifth semester and i took 23 credits on this semester i also join a few competition and i also have to teach a practicum as a computer lab assistant so it uh, really the schedule is really really packed but thanks to Bukit Vista, it has introduced me to Google Calendar, which helped me a lot for scheduling my daily activity. And on the other side, by having a packed schedule, I learned to manage my time and also learn to set the right priorities for each day. Okay, and here is a saying in Indonesia that I really like, malu bertanya, sesat di jalan which means if you are ashamed of asking, you'll get lost. And I do this a lot with Kafidi, but he's not here, I guess. So here is a meme, <laughs> me every time on Slack. Uh, thank you, Kafidi, if you watch this video. Thank you for answering all of my questions. And yeah, that's all for today's presentation. Feel free to connect to my LinkedIn and also follow my Instagram. Thank you. Wow, thank you Maxwell for the presentation. Wow, amazing yeah. Like um apa um as Maxwell has shared just now, like what are his um apa projects uh, in terms of his involvement during his internship, as well as what he has learned as well, like during uh, the course um uh, of three months yeah of the internship program itself. Um okay now I'd like to like give the space to um uh, a few of the team members um present here in the presentation. Um, about perhaps to give like uh, share a little bit like on your experience like working together with Maxwell or even like uh, if you haven't had the chance to like work together maybe like you can tell us like tell us a bit of a story lah maybe uh, Papa on your um, Papa perhaps impress first impression of Max and then like um, Papa perhaps um, Papa how you have actually like um, observed and seen apa his growth see uh, based on the apa interactions that we did. Um, okay, maybe first things first. Uh, can I go to Nadifa for for this one? Okay, thank you, Shailene. Uh, for my ex experience with with Maxwell, it is so great that that he teach me a lot about Rida. So so at the first time I entered with Lisa, I'm I'm real confused how we just work, but but we have a pairing about Rida, and and he teach me like everything about it. And he gave me a lot of insight about it. So thank you, Maxwell, <laughs> about that. You're welcome. <laughs> Maybe Thanks, that's all for me, Jillian. Okay, thank you, Nadiva. If I'm not wrong, Nadiva yeah. is the successor, yeah, for the Redes project. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, see. That's I see. I see that Maxwell has been um, a really good um, a senior as well in this case that he actually like um, a set up like uh, the training sessions and then like let you know on what are the things that you need to take note on like when you are continuing this project um okay then next can i go to uh stefan in this case so stefan maybe you can share a bit on like um about how is your experience perhaps like interacting or even like working together with uh maxwell in this case okay yeah maybe uh i'll start the first impression kali ya mungkin on then ya yeah. <laughs> um, gimana ya kayak maybe ya kita data analyst sama data scientist mungkin doesn't actually doesn't really work much on projects here together um, abis itu kayaknya emang ya yeah, I can see itu kalau misalnya ya yeah, lu tuh sibuk gitu 
gue tahu sih maksudnya kayak um, kadang meeting nggak nggak bisa ikut gitu gue gue juga ngerti gitu so like oke okay. tapi um, mungkin ya memang kita uh, much lebih banyak interactionnya itu waktu kita sempat bahas relasi itu and ya yeah, I could see gitu kayak oke okay, kita kasih masukan dan actually ya yeah, you catch uh, catch up kayak oke okay, kalau masalahnya itu ternyata di sini nih gitu you catch it quick and and I'm press beneran sih kayak eh wah wow, sekarang ridas jadi kayak gini ya actually just in short term of time itu ternyata oh perubahannya signifikan juga gitu dan uh, bener-bener kelihatan gitu kalau misalnya um, bisa bilang dari user experience untuk insight-insightnya itu jauh lebih uh, rapi dan lebih jelas gitu so I think ya yeah, ya yeah, you really done a good job gitu Maxwell And yeah, yeah. Hope you can be successful wherever you go. And yeah, actually, belajar dari Coursera SQL abis langsung terapin. Oh, itu juga I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, you done a really good job. And yeah, good luck for the future. Thank you, Stefan. Si 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 si. Okay, thank you, uh, Stefan, as well, uh, from sharing a bit from your experience working together uh, with Max as well. Um, okay, um, I like to share a bit as well. <laughs> like previously, I remember like Max, um, apa, we from the HR team we requested, apa, to like have a like a bit of a change on HR dashboard as well. And previously, Max was the one like uh, reaching out to me <laughs> previously like to check if everything is actually um, apa, as expected as as per the request and it was actually uh yeah done very well actually like it was actually as expected as our request and he also like communicates about it and like asking if there's anything um perhaps any part in the um dashboard that can be like um, apa, um adjusted or is there anything like missing gitu lah, from my side So I think um, apa, he actually like um, apa, communicate well with the clients as well in this case, making sure that it's actually um, apa, uh, apa, giving the insight that the client wants as well as um, apa, making sure that it, it's actually running well in this case. So yeah, I'd like to appreciate Maxwell um, for that as well uh, during this meeting. And yeah, uh, last but not least, let's go to Lilith in this case. Um, as the leader from the business intelligence team as well as um, apa, overseeing uh, Maxwell's performance the past three months. Uh, anything that you want to um, add on in this session? Thank you very much, Helen. Uh First of all, congratulations, Maxwell. Uh, your three months in Bukit Vista. Uh, I think it's finished today, right? Uh, today is your offboarding day, yes. 11, uh, together with Julian too. Uh, congratulations for passing the trials with IGP. I'm sure that Maxwell learned pretty much here in Bukit Vista, as uh, he also mentioned just now. I observe Maxwell uh, grow very well, like from the beginning. Uh, if you remember in our first P2P that you are actually a bit shy and then uh, slow progress. And then after that P2P, actually, you start to uh, step up and working on the Redress project for all the chapter. And what I'm happy about that also, uh, when I give you a challenge to work together with a team, especially Willis and Adifa, right? Uh, you manage it well, like, okay, Willis can do that. And Adifa right now will be your delegates. Uh, and that's also, I think, another learning for yourself, which is uh, communication and also uh, team management. Other than that, um, communication, Communicating with clients is also, uh, I hope that other thing that you learn here, because when you are being a product owner later on, you need to understand your client's needs, right? I think I'm I'm your client that is cerewet uh, banget, ya. <laughs> like, hey, Maxwell, ini kayaknya harus kayak gini, 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 gitu. But you actually uh, receive my like my request passionately and doing it so uh, fast, like like so fast, like from I asked yesterday, misalnya tomorrow that the progress, something like that. I really like your uh, motivation, see. 
Jadi ibaratnya you find the flow and then you I'm not sure whether you enjoy it or not but I feel that you enjoy it because every progress that you made is absolutely uh, according to what the client needs. Jadi uh, semoga ya kamu enggak maksudnya enggak bosan sama that redesk gitu. Um, um other than that actually kamu juga punya teman ya di BI ya. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, mistaken kan Anthony kan your friend kan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I hope that you can get uh, networking juga from Bukit Vista. And of course, Vidi as your mentor will be happy to see you grow uh, outside there uh, after you graduate here from Bukit Vista. Uh, jadi itu sih kalau aku sih banyak kan karena jadi client saya banyak kan requestnya ya sama Maxwell gitu. But I'm trying to be a good client for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's that. Thank you very much, Maxwell. Your legacy in Redesh will be very um, uh, meaningful for us in Bukit Vista, especially in BI and also other chapter that you have created as part. Yeah, back to Shelly. Okay, thank you, okay. Uh, for your words as well. Um, okay, maybe any um, last words from Maxwell? Any Anything else that you want to deliver in this session? Maybe I will, uh, I would like to say thank you for Kalilis and Kavidi for being my mentor, for being my client and being my uh, teacher in here during my three months. And thank you for my co-workers, DS, Pro, uh, Nadifa, Anthony, Willis, and also Arda and Felix, and also from the DA or BA, Stefan, uh, Julianto, we have also Faya, yes. And yeah, thank you and good luck for your future. Thank you, Maxwell. And yes, we all of us here, um, Papa, wishing you well on your graduation as well. Um, and yes, I think that concludes our IGP session over here. Thank you everyone for coming and have a nice day.